Welcome to Mermaid Transformation. Here at FinFund, we have created an eight-week Mermaid Transformation course. Welcome back to week three of the eight-week Mermaid Transformation. There are three sets this week in Mermaid Transformation. So the links are attached for the workouts, so you can print them off and take them to the pool with you. This week we'll increase the yardage just a little bit over last week, and each week we'll get a little bit longer. I'm going to warm up before I begin the mermaid swimming, so remember to always do this before a workout. I'm going to swim about 200 yards, get warmed up, and then I'll put on my mermaid tail. So for week three, day one, it's mainly one big set that we're going to do. So you do 10 50s of corpus swim. So if you remember in week one, the last day, you did some 25s of corpus swim. So I'm going to do that again, but instead do 50s this time and 10 of them. So corpus swim is when you mermaid kick down to the bottom of the pool, then you touch the bottom pool and you're going to push off with it and push yourself to the surface and take a nice big breath and then go back down again. So it's a really big mermaid swim. You're going to do it over and over again throughout the whole entire 50. So this only works if you're in um, moderately deep water. You don't want to be in a diving well like at 13 feet because that won't work to go to the bottom of the pool or that would be really difficult. So somewhere between three to eight feet will work best. Most lap lanes will work for this. What you're going to do is do the 10 50s. In between each 50, you're going to rest for 30 seconds. So when you touch the wall, look up at the clock and then just wait 30 seconds and then go again. And look at your time, see if you're going about the same time in all the 50s throughout all 10 of them. workout with 200 yards mermaid swim any way you want and I'll finish the workout for day one of week three. Now we're going to go through day two of week three. So this is going to be a deep end exercise again. Make sure you have enough water that you can be vertical and not scrape your tail on the bottom of the pool. The first thing we're going to do is 10 leg tucks forward. So all you're going to do is get in the vertical position and you're going to, and you have to scull a little bit with your hands, and you're going to bring your knees all the way up to your chest and you're going to push them back down. So just feel it in your abs and do 10 of these. All the way up to your chest and then back down again. Once you've done all 10 of these, the next thing you're going to do is 10 tucks backwards. So this is the same sort of movement. You're going to again get in the vertical position and then you're going to bend your fluke all the way up to your back. Get as high as you can up. Try to get your heels all the way up to your butt and then push it all the way down. So do that again. And do 10 times. Go up as high as you can. Get your fluke really high and then push back down again. Once you've done that, do another small exercise. We're going to do 10 wall sit-ups. So you have to come over to the wall. Now different pools can make this kind of more difficult. This pool is pretty easy to get your, get your fluke out right here. It's just me right here on the edge. And you're just going to let your body go into the water. And then you're going to pull up as high as you can and hold it for several seconds. And then go back down again. You can try different hand positions to put your hands back here if you want also. And then hold for about three seconds. And just feel that crunch in your abs and then you're gonna go back down again. So do 10 of these. And back down again. All right, once you finish that, we're gonna do nine minutes of vertical kicking. So we've done these this every week so far. This time we're gonna do, you're gonna do one minute with your hands out of the water. Then you're gonna do one minute with your hands on your head. And then you're gonna do one minute with your hands as high as you can reach out of the water. So I'll show you how those look. So we've done the first two before. 
you kick with your hands out of the water. So we've taken away the sculling. We're not going to do that anymore. So hands just kicking like this. You want to watch the clock. You want to do this for one minute. Okay, so it's a moderate kick here. Then you're going to put your hands on your head. And you're going to have to kick a little bit faster. So just for an entire minute, hands on your head, kicking faster. Once you've done this for a minute, then you're going to reach as high as you can. You have to kick pretty fast here. So just reach, reach, reach for an entire minute. And once you're, you've done this for a minute, you'll get to go back down to your hands just, just out of the water. And you'll feel like you can go a little bit, a little bit slower kick here. <laughs> so you can do nine minutes. So basically you go through this three times. Hands in this position, hands in this position, and then hands as high as you can go and feel the increase of the kick each time you do that. So that will wrap up day two of week three. You're gonna finish the workout with 200 yards mermaid swim. So you wanna get back in the lap lane if you can. You can do this however you want. And that will finish uh, day two of week three. Covered day three of week three. So again, you'll want to warm up without a mermaid tail on about 200 yards and then get to this workout. So this workout goes through um, learning to swim butterfly. And so it's a progression that you'll work from kicking dolphin kick up to swimming butterfly. The first thing you're gonna do is 825s and you're going to do four dolphin kicks and then one butterfly stroke. So the way you do a butterfly stroke is your hands start out here and the stroke pulls all the way down, back, past your hips. Your hands come out of the water, and then they re-enter out front. And so in order to do that, what you're gonna do is we start with four kicks. You're gonna do four kicks, get your dolphin kick going. And then when you feel ready, you're gonna do one pull, and your arms go back in. In order to do butterfly, you wanna breathe right when your arms come back. So you're gonna do your dolphin kicks, and then when your hands start to move, you breathe facing forward. You breathe, and then put your head back down, and your arms can come back around. So it's gonna look like this. So you wanna breathe early in the stroke. You wanna get your arms all the way back, out of the water, thumbs down, pretty straight to arms, and then enter right again back out front. Okay, so we'll start with 825s, four kicks, plus one stroke, and then you just do it over and over again. At each wall, once you finish the 25, you're gonna rest for 30 seconds and then do it again. Okay, after you've completed the 825s with the four kicks, one stroke, we're gonna do almost the same thing, but we're gonna do three kicks, one stroke. So 825s, three kicks, one stroke of butterfly. Again, you're gonna rest 30 seconds between each 25. So I'll show you what that looks like now. So now we've done eight 25s with four kicks, one pull. Then we did 825s with three kicks, one butterfly stroke. Now we're gonna swim 425s where we do butterfly swim. So butterfly swim, it really does have two kicks to it. You wanna kick when your hands go in the water and kick when your hands are back here. But you wanna to try to do this in a continuous arm movement. So kicking here, kicking here, keep your arms moving. If you feel like you can't do a really good butterfly stroke, you can do a few extra kicks in between. That's the way you don't want to do a butterfly stroke until you know that you can get your arms all the way out of the water. So if you need a few extra kicks right now up front, that's okay. We're going to try to do four 25s to just butterfly swim. So I'll demonstrate that now.
All right, so just a few tips for butterfly. The first one is to make sure you kick when your hands go in the water. The second one is to make sure you breathe early in the stroke so your head is back down again by the time your arms come around. So keep working on that. We'll keep doing butterfly throughout these workouts now and hopefully get it so you can swim nice butterfly by the end. We're now gonna finish the workout for this week, again with 200 yards mermaid swim, any way you wanna do it. And feel free to put a little butterfly in the swim.